Hey everyone, welcome back to Inkmatic, back here with another video. Today we're going to be talking about this tool uh, created by The Measure of a Plan. I use their dividend tra well, investment tracking spreadsheet and they do have another tool for retirement forecasting. So I think it is a great tool and it's something that you guys should start thinking about. So when you guys should retire, just start thinking about it, planning it. Um, and it's a great tool to forecast when you can retire. Uh, so we'll just dive in to this now. So what you wanna do is head over to themeasureofaplan.com, head over to tools, scroll down, and then there is a retirement date forecasting tool. So this will essentially um, tell you how much you will need to retire and when you will get to that age. So if we open that, um, you can read all that later, but we're just gonna open the Google spreadsheet. And what we're gonna do is open this. Um, it's a, currently at view only, so what you're gonna have to do is click File, Make a Copy, put it wherever you want in your Google Drive, and just wait for it to load. So what we're gonna do now is just hide the instructions. Uh, you can read that at your, in your own time. So essentially, this is the tracker. The first section is your assumptions. This is how much you're gonna be adding to your portfolio every year. So we're gonna be running through that. So what you wanna do is, well, before we before we get started, one thing you should know, uh, all the numbers are in here are in dollars, but for the sake of this, we're not gonna change the currency. Uh, we're just gonna say these numbers are in pounds. So it's just a currency symbol that's different. Everything else is st will still remain the same. So what we're gonna do, based on my current viewership, let's say um, most of my viewers are between 25 and 34. So I'm just gonna go straight in the middle and go to 29. Um, amount that they currently have, let's say they've got 10,000 to start off with. They've got 10,000 pounds. And let's say, um, for the sake of this video, they're gonna hit their ISA allowance every year. So we're gonna say that's 20,000 per year. And we're gonna assume that there's a 5% annual growth rate for that portfolio. What they're gonna need is, um, how much they're gonna need, let's say they're gonna spend 35,000 a year um, for living, like when they retire, just a, and we want that to be a 4% withdrawal rate. So this is how much you're gonna uh, aim to withdraw when you retire. So we want that to be 4%. So it's gonna be slightly less than your annual growth. So we say your annual growth is 5%, um, and we're gonna be withdrawing at 4%. So your, your money will still be growing, essentially. Target age, let's say 60 years of age. And the next box basically does all the calculations for you. So your retirement plan is on track. You are on track, which is good. Um, and you will be able to retire on or before your target date. So that's good. So we said 60, so we're hoping for earlier. And it says you will be able to retire in 23 years from now when you hit 52. So that's great. That's great. That's eight years ahead of our retirement schedule. Compared to your target age of 60, this is eight years before your retirement age, so that's great news. To retire, you'll need 875,000 pounds to retire, uh, measured in today's pounds. Um, if you keep working and saving until your target retirement age, your portfolio will be worth 1.5 million pounds. That's insane. In the space of eight years, you can essentially almost double your portfolio, which is insane. So those years, you'll see your portfolio increase massively. That's just insane. That, yeah, that just, that's just mind-blowing for me. That's just, anyway, um, which will be worth 171%. Anyway, based on your current portfolio, you have, you're currently at 1.1%, so there's a lot of saving to do and a lot of investing to do right now. Moving on to this graph that you see now. This is essentially um, the number of years to retirement. So you can see that the dashed line is the amount needed for retirement, which is 875,000 pounds. 
purple bar is your retire the age that you can retire at assuming that you can constantly add to your portfolio assuming that you get a five percent growth rate every year and your target age is 60 which is the green bar and yeah so that's that's pretty cool so let's just change that to four percent just to see what the difference is so if we're assuming that you get a four percent return annually that brings it from 52 to 54 so it pushes it back about two years but for the sake of this we're just going to stick to five and continue going down this trend passive income and progress to retirement so you can see that uh, at 29 you'll be hitting one percent when you hit 30 you'll be uh, contributing about four percent uh, to your overall retirement pot so from 30 from 41 to 42 you'll be contributing five percent to your portfolio uh, to your retirement fund essentially and then when you are hit 50 to 51 you'll be uh, that increases to seven percent so I think yeah so you will see that basically increase uh, with the compound interest and dividends that you receive throughout your investment portfolio so which is not too bad um, moving on to the number of years of retirement so when you hit 52 that'll be 25.1 years of retirement that you'll have assuming that you will spend £35,000 a year at 52 you'll have 25.1 years of retirement assuming that you will spend you'll withdraw 35,000 per year let's say if you then retire at 54 which is two years later that will add 3.8 years to your retirement plan so working an additional two years will add an extra three years to your retirement which is insane and then moving on to your breakdown of your investment portfolio so for example the dark lines at the bottom is your contribution so you can see that is increasing uh, gradually every year but then you can see that the interest or your returns from your investment is increasing exponentially and then by the time you hit 60 your returns from your investment is actually greater than the amount that you have invested so for example uh, at age 60 you've contributed 630,000 pounds and your returns is 866,000 pounds which is insane so you can see how that compound interest um, and dividends do amount to quite a bit over the years um, throughout your investing lifetime but yeah that's it for this video and you've got another one for coast retirement analysis but yeah that's it for this video let me know what you guys think don't forget to smash the subscribe button and if you haven't seen our trading 212 portfolio you can watch it here it was where the latest update is on the on the card above you've also got a couple uh, links in the description for stake free trade portfolio updates and the stake review don't forget to like comment and subscribe and a link to this retirement tracker is in the description or you can just head over to themeasureofaplan.com but yeah that's it for this video see you in the next one